are you i'm fine so we are doing this uh, informal video series uh, with a lot of international students uh, to understand their journey as to which part of the world they come from why do they choose india as their destination what attracts them to india so just an insight into your life uh, you know your background and how you perceive uh, india as a home country right now okay. so can you give us a brief uh, about your background Okay, I'm Esther from Botswana. I come from a family of five. Like I have four siblings, and um, I came to India through ICSR scholarship, and I'm currently doing my BBA IB in Pune University. Okay, so how long uh, is the flight from Botswana to India? Is the, um, I don't think there's any direct flight. No, there's no so direct flight. So you have flight. to uh, yeah. via. I had to go through South Africa, then Doha. from doha to india so because it was covid it was during covid so it took uh, is it two days to come to india yes, yes oh my god so you had to take a stop somewhere in between yes so where in kata in doha so then all this funding of coming from botswana to india was done by iccr yes it was all covered by iccr okay so your air fare and the stay in doha and all of that yes okay okay and how did you get to know about the iccr scholarship well my friend uh, she studied in pune university through iccr so i got to learn about iccr through her okay yes so so you go so you had to go online and upload your documents and there was a selection yes, process yes yes okay. i did it yeah so did you have a choice before selecting the university and the program Well, actually, I wanted to do finance, but uh, I heard later on that uh, they don't sponsor finance for ICSR students. Okay. So, yeah, I had to choose BBA. Okay. Actually, management, but then uh, I found out later that I've been admitted into international business. So. So you didn't know before coming which program you're doing? No, I had applied for Bachelor of Business Management, but okay. then yeah, I got International Business, so I guess that was the closest thing. Okay, okay. So you're in the Pune University campus, or under Pune University, or in a different uh, college? In in Pune University campus. In Pune University campus. Yes. So the how are the lectures at Pune University? <laughs> you can be open. You're not going to show this <laughs> interview anywhere. It's just for you know understanding. Honestly, compared to uh, from the experiences I got to learn from my my other uh, country mates, compared to uh, my lectures, theirs is like somehow not really good because they get taught maybe in Hindi, Marathi. Yeah, but in my friends. yes, most of them they have had this kind of experience. But in Pune University, I think because we are in my class, we are all international students. Okay. So our lecturers they teach in English. Okay. Yes. So. Oh, so you all you all don't sit with Indian students. No, our our class BBA IB. I think it's kind of like a new. a uh, course in pune okay, so, so they made a separate division yes, for international yes, students yes okay. so we don't attend our classes in their department okay. now we just attend in international center who oh, in their office like the international center yes. office of pune university yes oh okay so throughout the day you all are there yes oh, so you all don't go to the main building to attend your lectures no we don't attend our classes in main building oh, and how many students are there in your uh, class In my class there is like 10 and right now in first year class there is 20 students all international students yes okay okay and so how, so now because you are separate division and you are only interacting with Indi- international students have you got a chance to you know make any indian friends <laughs> it's mm-hmm. quite hard to make indian friends when all you have is international yeah, students that's there. A, that's yeah that's yeah So in Pune University I don't really have any Indian friends. No, even outside of college? Have you made any Indian friends? Yes, outside college I've met and okay. here in through symbiosis events. So you've made uh, yes, you've interacted made, with Indian students. Yes, I've interacted with Indian students. Any Indian dish you have tried? Bri chicken biryani. Yes, <laughs> no my god that that is very okay okay that is the only famous dish i think but we are known for many more dishes but you must try you must go to some local uh, have you gone to any local restaurant well i've gone uh, there is this uh, 
Rahu, but I, I forgot the name. Yes, I went there. But see, the food is really spicy and so it's quite difficult. To but in South Africa, was we in the, I mean, in the African region, you don't eat uh, spicy food? No, we don't eat spicy food. Why your food, food is bland? Or no. sweet? Uh, just, I don't know. Like, I can't say it's sweet or bland. Or but not but as spicy as Yes, well. yes, yes. So then how do you eat in the mess? Do you face any difficulties while eating in the mess? Uh, well, our hostel, international hostel, we cook for ourselves. Oh, so you don't yeah, need to so go and eat in the mess, so no. you all can cook yeah. as what you like. So there are how many uh, girls in one room? One. Oh, it's just one girl yeah, in one room? Yeah, just one, yeah. Oh, so it must be quite comfortable. So where is this hostel? Is on in the Pune University premise? Yes, it's in Pune University, yeah. The only problem before was that it's, uh, it's like the hostel is like falling apart, you know, it's, it's, a, it's an... Hostel is what? Falling apart means? <laughs> like it's... The, the paint is falling off too dusty, but right now it's bad because they are renovating the place. So mm -hmm. now everything is fine. Before it was, it was really hard and like I got to... I had some trouble breathing, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I had to go to hospital. But now it's fine. They have oh. painted our room, so. Oh. Any particular incident that you would want to share with us? Anything? Uh, like good, bad, both, I would want to know. We can start with good. Anything good that you have experienced after coming to India? You know, someone has been really helpful. Someone has gone out of their way to, uh, you know, accommodate you or help you or something like that. <laughs> no, if it's a no, you can say it's a no. I just generally want to know. Well, uh, I should mention that I'm quite uh, socially awkward. Okay. So, like, most of the time I spend, uh, prior to joining the Symbiosis International Student Council, I was, like, always in my room. Like, after class, I just go in my room and okay. just stay there. So, uh, the good experiences, uh, I'd say, i experienced i guess i can say it's through symbiosis you know through this event you know food festival i've met really good people and you know i have formed a uh, strong relationship strong and, yes first friendship so i visit them and yeah but uh there is like not being negative or anything like when i first arrived in india yeah that was my next question anything <laughs> you would want to tell us yes when i first arrived in india i i didn't know anyone of course even my country mates i just uh, like i just saw them in the group and yeah so um I didn't know since i didn't know anyone i asked them to help me find a place to oh, stay then. Uh, my country mates. Oh, your country mates. Okay. Yes, I asked them to find me a, a place to stay because uh, there was, uh, we were told there is no hostel accommodation in Pune University, but there is hostel accommodation. But uh, when, I mean, when you came, didn't you report to the international office of Pune University? We did. You all did? So they yes. didn't ask, like, help no. you with the accommodation? No, you have to take care of it yourself. Oh, okay. Yeah. So then? So then I, they helped me find a place only later on, uh, like for the first few weeks when I was staying there, I would experience uh, some like, I would come uh, across uh, like men harassing me to the extent that they came to my apartment and they like, I had forgotten to, to lock the door. So they forcefully entered the house and like they were demanding, you know, yeah, because that place actually, uh, they said uh, prostitutes used to stay there. And I, I, I didn't know yeah. that. Yeah, so I wasn't aware. So I only learned uh, from that moment on. And when but I called uh, the police... Where was this place? It, it's in Pimpri. Okay. Yeah, so when I called the police, I don't know if they didn't understand English. So it was hard to communicate with them. So i had taken a video that's how i managed to convince uh, the staff in uh, international center to give me a hostel because it wasn't safe outside but since from then everything is good now oh. yeah so but that was your first experience that, yeah and it was like in the first week of arrival so it was really quite scary yeah. but then i've had indians are really nice people but i 
like though that experience it doesn't define all Indians. Yeah. Like yeah, it's just the minority. So but, but also overall, who helped you find this place? Your country mates told you to go. And my to yes, my country mates. Yeah. So they didn't know about this place before. I guess they didn't know. I don't know. They have been here for the longest time. So okay. hopefully now on your own face. Yeah, so now everything is fine. Yeah. But uh, what is your plan after this? I mean, your your course must be three years. Yes. Three. Um, uh, yeah, three years, right? Yes. Correct. So, what is your plan? You're going to continue here, or you're going to, I mean, apply somewhere abroad, or what? Yes, about that. I'm completing next year. Okay. So, my plan is that uh, I will go work in my home country, gain some experience, then uh, apply further my studies. Correct. Yes, Correct. in a different in Germany. Correct. Yes. I'll Why Germany? To, <laughs> yeah, I mean, why not UK? Why not US? Why Germany? Have you identified a college there or a course there that you want to go? No, actually, it's for like religious purposes. Oh, like okay. our church was founded in Germany, so your what? Our my church. Church. Okay. Yes, so okay. was founded in was founded in Germany, so okay. like. So you have lot of your country people in Germany settled there. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. But what do you want to do uh, for your masters? You want to do international business, or you want to do? No, I want to go into finance. Finance, yeah, yes. because you wanted to do that at the end. Yes. And how did you get to know about symbiosis? I, I, well, like I said, I was quite the introvert. So my Situnia Angela, yes, yes, my country mate, she told me about. She was a part of the council. Yes, she was. So she told me this one time. She told me there is a, a food festival in symbiosis. So. Uh, this is like it's a private university, but uh, international students from all universities are welcome. So that's how I got to learn about symbiosis, and yeah, and the then rest you is history. To the yes, I applied for the council. And yeah. the rest is history. Yeah, the rest is history. Nice. It was lovely talking to you. Anything that you would want to, um, I mean, let us know, or anything that you feel that we can do that will improve you know the situation of international students or just generally make their life more comfortable in Pune. Okay, uh, first of all I just want to uh, extend my heartfelt uh, appreciation to Symbiosis International University for the like for the efforts they are putting in like uh, trying to make our lives as international students as more comfortable as it could be. Like it's not every day that you find a university that can accommodate like that welcomes ev like all international students regardless which university you are from. Like that on itself, like it's my first time seeing that and like being part of the uh, student inter international uh, student council. council. It's quite a huge, uh, big deal. It's a huge deal for me, honestly, because it has contributed a lot to my uh, career development, character development, and stuff. You know, so um, as for what uh, can be done to help us as international students, I don't know, like if it's in your jurisdiction, but uh, especially for. For us in Pune University, like we don't get internship, uh, so an internship is quite yeah. Yeah, yeah. You don't yeah. get internship and even work visa after your yes, completion. Yes, yes, yes. So that's, we've been working written to the government for many years now, but hopefully, uh, let's see. We are hoping mm -hmm. that it should change. Okay. Yeah. Apart from that, everything has been great. So yeah. Thank you so much for interacting with us and giving us a glimpse of your journey here in India.